just been rumored and possible that Zion's going to be playing against you guys on Thursday for his debut. I mean, that could be a big deal, and are you excited to see it as much as play um, against it? Honestly, you know, I think we're just looking at it as a regular game. You know, we understand last time we played there, it ended you know, in a kind of crazy way, so they're going to come out ready to play. And the fact that he's playing, it'll be packed, it'll be huge, and a lot of coverage. But we're going to go out there and do our thing. You know, we're not going to make it too big of a deal. Let's go out there and just focus on the task at home. You know, I'm happy for him that he's finally getting ready to play. And, you know, he's healthy. You know, I think that's the biggest thing. Um, so that is um, I think it's it's good to it's a point in the year when things are becoming unstable. You know, not coaches are calling a lot of plays, the cards are going up and down, just making the reason around. That's the biggest thing. If we continue to do that, you know, I'll be able to check. You're still like you're competing for a championship this year? That's the goal. You know, that's the goal every year. I don't, I don't think you, you know, you, you start a season saying, well, you know, we're not competing for a championship, we're trying to contend for a championship, we're trying to be up there. And, you know, for us, it's just continue to take it game by game. But first, we got to get past the second round. First, we got to make the playoffs and then get past the second round, which I haven't done in my career. So, taking it slowly to the short Mike could be coming back soon. Uh, long term, obviously, it makes you a better team. Short term, right. how well you guys are playing in the rhythm in here. Is there sort of, sort of any trepidation as far as integrating him and just sort of keeping things going? Well, the guy like Mike Conley, man, you know, we're going to figure it out. You know, it's not like, you know, you don't, you don't, um, you know, you don't just keep him out and find a way. You know, I think he's a guy that learned, loves to learn to adapt. You know, he's done in his career. He's, he's a guy that, you know, is very unselfish. You know, I think that's what makes it easy when you have a guy that's willing to, you know, be off the ball or kind of find his way, find his groove. And I know he's a guy that's just ready to get back. And he's he's really determined. You know, I'm, I think we're all determined to get him back. And we're all excited for him as well. What about the Thanks, speakers? Dog. The speakers Last question. Yeah. Um, Australia, Puerto Rico. Um, I, I, there wasn't a lot of news coverage on the Puerto Rico earthquake, which was you know, pretty shocking to me. But, you know, obviously we all know that in Australia, I just want to do my part. You know, be able to, to I want to give those away to be auctioned off. Just being able to, you know, find a way to, to make an impact. You know, obviously, I can't go down to Australia, you know, Joe Camp and having Joe my team, you know, you, and being down there this summer, you, you have a fond love for Australia. I've been to Puerto Rico, I've run Puerto Rican friends, you know, so for me it was just like, you know, just showing up in any way I can and being able to give back. I think that's huge. We do a lot of people in my position to try to find ways to make an impact in the possible. Thanks, Thank you.